Hey guys, Glummery Glummery Online. How are you? Hope you're doing great. Today is Friday, pizza night. What did we watch? We watched Emoji Movie tonight, and my COVID hair is going crazy. We did dance party. We have like a bunch of families with little kids, and we, 5.30 on Friday night, we do dance party over Zoom or something. I don't know. So anyways, uh, today, how to use Facebook ads. Two simple rules. All right, guys. Uh, if you want to know how to make money online, make sure you subscribe to my channel, get get zoned in because i try to make videos every day if not every day every other day and i just bring you tips and tricks and things to try and the best things that are working for me which is working great out great uh, so make sure you subscribe and comment and all that good stuff okay so how to use facebook ads two simple rules i barely use facebook ads anymore i used to use them a lot uh i but this can't this will work for anything it's just a lot of you are trying to use facebook ads but you can use it for google anything that you can do retargeting with okay now you're going oh glenn i'm not even at i'm not even at ads yet well at some point you're going to get to ads if you're going to be doing this for real you need to think about this in the future so um this is something you need to know now where did i learn this well actually guys i um i kind of doubled down on uh you guys know I use ClickFunnels. It's one of the tools I use. I love it. I think it's one of the best uh, tools out there. It's actually a, it's a it's an all all in one solution if you want it to be. I'm actually rethinking a lot of my tools right now, and I'm kind of like, Ugh. you know, I'm I'm a so I'll just be completely uh, transparent with you guys. I, I'm an affiliate for Aweber. Now, I make money from Aweber by referring people to Aweber, but it also costs me a lot of money with Aweber using it all the time and. While I like Aweber, this is an autoresponder, there's some things that kind of tick me off about it. Like whenever I start a new list, I have to contact them and tell them I don't want opt-in on because I'm using an API. And if that sounds foreign to you, it's just the way things are done. You know, they're like, oh, you should be using our builder and all this, this kind of crap. So that being said, I'm kind of thinking like, well, do I make enough at Aweber to continue using it? Or should I just move everything in house? But I like to keep my stuff separate, so I'm still kind of out in the fence on that. Um, although, if you keep everything in check, I don't think ClickFunnels is going anywhere. They've they've been around now five years, and it just continues to grow. Like they're just growing, and they keep bringing out better stuff. So, where did I learn this uh, ads method? It's kind of one that I kind of knew already, and and um, but I it doubled down because I just got the um, uh, traffic secrets book which you need to get so click the link below grab it it is my affiliate link for it but grab it i actually grabbed the upsell of the um so you can get it and you pay for shipping i paid 20 bucks because it's canadian i think it's if you're in the us it's 10 bucks shipping get it it's gonna be great um but you can do an upgrade for 37 dollars, i think it is and you get a whole bunch of bonuses i highly recommend doing that because in those bonuses you get some really cool stuff and um, a couple of, the, of the, the the trainings you get is, I believe, is one of these. I think I got it from this. I also I also upped it, up my membership because there's a there's a master master secrets webinar that you get when you get the book, and they give you an option to up your membership. Like you you get you get a whole bunch of training, and then you get six months of an upgraded um, suite for it. So I actually upgraded my account. Um, there because I'm just I'm I'm really starting to rethink of how I'm using all this stuff. So I'm I'm kind of you know anyways, not that you guys have to upgrade your account, but it is a very, very, very good deal. And the training's amazing. So this training about ads is from the guy that runs all the click funnels ads and they run a lot of ads. They're running ads all the time. So what is his philosophy? You know, people are like, oh I gotta run this ad and this ad and this ad and this ad and this ad. And he's like, no, there's two ads, right? And you have to think of it as as cats and dogs and i know you sound that sounds very weird cats and dogs guys and just 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 to give you a little visual um let me go to my screen here uh, get out of the way me get out of the way let's see okay so how do cats hunt guys like how do how do cats hunt now if you see well there's a cat with a bird in its mouth cats pounce cats are curious cats um prowl and cats are skittish right so when you're thinking um when you're thinking about your your uh sorry my mic is hot there when you're thinking about your customer 
on on Facebook or on YouTube or on wherever you are. You have to think of them as a cat and you don't want them to get scared. You want to really present to them as as um you want to think of them as a cat. They're curious. So you have to make curious things, right? This is why on Facebook everybody tells you make a curiosity post. It's the most powerful thing you can imagine. A curiosity post on Facebook is so powerful because it gets people commenting. It gets people like, well, what does he mean by that? So, and so, so you want, you want curious and you want congruity. You want congruent from, from one to the other, right? And we do this all the time. If you look at any of my uh, ClickFunnels uh, landing pages, which I'm sure if you on my channel, you've been to a bunch of them, they will go, you will go to the landing page and the, and when I collect your email and then I pass you off to the offer that I'm offering, you'll see that I made that landing page very congruent. So there's no, like, you're not, you're not jarred by like, I made a bright blue and orange landing page and you put in your email and all of a sudden you're taken to this like dark black page. And it's like, you know what I mean? It's just like, you're like, if you're a cat and then you're like, Oh, that doesn't look right. Is that is that the right one? So you want to be thinking that when you're when you're doing your advertising and you're, and you're hunting. This is for new prospects, right? You want to basically be hunting for a cat. So you want to make curiosity. You want to have congruent um, imagery all the way through from from your your Facebook ad or video, whatever it is, through to the landing page, through to the through to the sales page, or however you're doing it, right? So you really want to have that congruency so maybe you're just doing a reach one and you're trying to get them to your facebook page well make sure your facebook page is reflective of your um your blog or whatever it is right like like everything like if you look at my my my, my youtube channel my uh work with glenn murray my my facebook everything is congruent everything looks the same you know it's me it's branded right it's all branded to me so you need to be doing that so that when you send people to things they know and then when you're passing them off to people you're passing them off to an affiliate program or whatever it is, make sure that that bridge that you're creating is congruent so it doesn't get them scared off. So their, their little spidey sense doesn't go up. So that's the first part. That's the prospecting part. Now, the other side of it is you want to, once you, once they've kind of batted it at your ad or maybe they've clicked on it or they've done something or whatever it is, you want to track them like a dog. And you want to be on it like a dog, like a hound. Like this is now you are the hunter. Now this is how you hunt them down. And this is your retargeting campaign. So you want to make sure that you learn about the pixels and all that kind of stuff. But you want to be able to retarget these people. And you don't want to wait too long, right? You you want to be you want to be on like like think about it. If if you're if um and some of you may be hating hunting. I grew up in the woods, so I hunted when I was a kid. Um, you have to understand like when you shoot an animal, you got to go get it right away, or it'll crawl away, or it'll crawl into <laughs> like like I mean you got to go get it right away. So same thing when you're when you're advertising. So um you have to think like like a dog. You got to be like a dog and get out there. So the first thing. And the way that he he did it, he did it as the three elements, right? So there, you're either a solid, a liquid, or a gas, right? So so solid is is boom. They've 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 looked at your thing, right? You've got a pixel. You know that that's your audience. So you want to get at them right away. So within three, maybe five days, you want them to to be hit again, um, maybe only once. And this will be really inexpensive for your ads. You don't need to bang them over the head with it. Just tap them again. A couple times, right? Like, like with 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 an idea with with that that thing, right? Like, like okay, you, you, I'm gonna do a retargeting campaign, and I retarget the people that clicked on my link. So then you send them a link, and you say, hey, I only want to show it to them once. I want to show them one more time. So they're on Facebook or whatever, or they're on Google, and boom, you come up again. So they clicked on it once, and then you've come up again. But you're not coming up over and over and over and over and over. And just come up again because it's gonna be because you you don't need to beat them over the head right like like in one day because you're going to to campaign it for a few days and then the next day you want them to, to get another hit and the next day the next day now they don't do anything by the fifth day just let them go like they're they're gone they're like don't worry about them because what's going to happen is you're going to now tweak that part 
until you get a better reaction. Like maybe maybe that second hit wasn't good enough. So you want to keep tweaking that until you start getting consistently people that have hit your your main camp your your main target, and now they've come back to you a second time, and they're and you're actually getting sales from that second one. Then it's evergreen, right? You've got an evergreen product there. You keep you just have to keep getting more prospects because you know that for however many prospects you get, you're going to be able to retarget them and you know that your retargeting works, right? So that's 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 the cool thing. Now if you get them to the next stage, either they've become they bought something or they've gone to the uh, checkout page or maybe you've got the, you've got the secondary of the of the funnel, right? You so so now you've got an, another campaign. Now you've got your secondary retargeting campaign where you actually you actually go after them with um like 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 hey, I saw that you clicked on my link. What's the deal? Are you interested in it? You know, and you kind of want to you want to hit them with that and saying, well, you know, what was what why didn't you purchase it kind of thing? Uh, almost like social guilt, right? And you that that again is only a couple of days long. Like 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 you want to just sort of sort of three five days or whatever it is after they've hit a, a hit a, a sales page, or even and now if they bought something, you want to make sure that you you you're able to take them off that list, right? You don't want to be hitting them over, especially if they bought something, unless you have another offer for them, and then that would be yet another retargeting, right? So you would have in your thing so people that that hit here. You, they get the first retargeting and then the second one they get the, the the second retargeting where you're actually social guilting them now he uses crazy stuff like this like hey like these people think you're crazy that you didn't buy this right and that'll be the campaign until that campaign is done and it basically ends after about 7 days they don't care anymore because they want they they want they want to close it in that amount of time they don't want to spend months and months spending money on this person that may not buy because they just need to they need to keep tweaking these two phases right like you're too retargeting you want to keep you want to keep tweaking those until they're converting really well and then it doesn't matter kind of what you put in the front end here as you're prospecting remember you're you're hunting for cats you can go create a whole bunch of curiosity stuff right you might go might create five ten and they don't work they don't work they don't work oh so no well that one seems to be working so then you double down on that one and you get a lot of people coming in your prospecting then then you know that your retargeting is working and that's basically what i learned in that it's just one one training of all the training i got in with um traffic secret so if you are struggling and you really want to get like really start learning from the pros that these guys are doing like they do a campaign they'll they'll you know do millions of dollars in, in one sort of sitting i don't know what russ russell sold like at 10x sold like 3 million in 90 minutes or something like that I don't know, some crazy amount of things. Anyways, they know what they're doing. So why not learn from the best? Yes, I can teach you what I've learned from them, but I'm by no far the best. I'm just further along the journey than you are. And and hopefully I'm giving you some good pointers, but I'm pointing to you, I'm telling you, like if you really want to study this and you really want to learn it, and you want to get to the next level quicker, faster, you want to full time, then you need to grab the traffic secrets. This is a reality, guys. It like like seriously, if it got you one sale i'm sure your sale is worth the 10 bucks or the 20 bucks that the training is is getting in like if i knew one one of my sales can uh for one of my programs like a thousand dollars boom like that right it can buy it can buy a hundred of or ten of those what i spend on it close to a hundred dollars canadian no not even a hundred dollars canadian 75 dollars canadian um so i could do 10 11 just by one sale and that the the knowledge in there is going to get me way more sales there's actually there's another one where, where like it's there's so many i've been watching um how to do how to do webinars like I, I i need to take that to the next level so yes i'm doing my my youtube here but i'm also going to take it to webinars and there's one is um what's his name the big coach guy the, the multi-million dollar coach guy he was one of the keynote speakers and he does a seven-day funnel and it's phenomenal i've watched it twice now and i'm actually going to do a case study so i'm not going to give it away actually i won't give it away i will do it and then i'll come back with the case study on it um because it's going to be really cool because i'm actually going to go I, I, you'll see you'll see anyways um so grab grab traffic secrets Make sure you sign up for the webinar, whatever the webinar is, because you're they're, they're going to give you a really good offer, offer you a really good deal. Take it. I recommend taking it. You have nothing to lose. Let's go through, learn, 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 learn. Keep learning. The more you learn, 
the better you will be. You need to become a better marketer. You have to be a better marketer. You know, people, oh, Glenn, you're so good on, on video. I'm crappy on video. And I was even crappier at the beginning. I'm looking like in five years, I should be much better, right? This is why I'm doing it every day. It's not <laughs> like, go back and look at, look at six months ago. It wasn't very good. And it keeps getting better, but I'm nowhere near there. I, I just want to keep going and keep going and keep getting there and keep getting there. And maybe in a couple of years, I'll look back and go, wow, I've come a long way. Now I'm really getting somewhere. And that's why I'm going to be starting these webinars, doing weekly webinars uh, and, and getting that going because I want that to be a natural skill. I want to do, you know, I want to do a, a year of webinars and then see where it goes. See where I get after a year. They, they say, like his, his thing on his webinar funnel, do a webinar every week for a year and you'll make a million dollars. I'm like, well, can you guarantee that? He's like, no, I can't guarantee it. But, but that is what it takes. Do a webinar every single week for a year and not an evergreen one, a live one, because each week you need to be tweaking it, tweaking it, tweaking it, tweaking it. It's just like a comedian, right? Comedians don't go out and slay it on late night TV shows. They go, they go, you know, they go into the depths of, of the, of the, the comedy stores. Another one, the Beatles, they went to Hamburg for two years and played and played and played and played. I was in a band. We, 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 we played every night we practiced and then we played show after show after show after show after show and then finally people were like wow these guys are really tight they're so tight they're so, so they're so amazing yeah because we play every single day that's what it took ten thousand hours right so just like anything guys you're not going to make it until you get your ten thousand hours in so get your ten thousand hours in as quick as you can and don't waste time doing something that's not going to pay go find the people that have made a lot of money and, and when they say, do this, just do that. It's that simple. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Grab the book. Do not do not miss out on grabbing the book. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. You figured out a little bit more. You maybe a little bit, maybe you got an aha moment on ads. You're like, oh, there's two types of ads. Prospecting, retargeting, nothing else. Prospecting, you're hunting for cats. You're attracting cats. Retargeting, you're becoming a dog. You're 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 dear Odin's dog hunt the, the hunting dogs of Odin. That's what he put it. It was very good. It was a good presentation. You got to see it. No, I don't do it justice. He does it much 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 better. So you, you need to get traffic secrets so you can get that. All right, guys. Cheers. Have a great night. Bye.